Hola amigos, hola amigas, welcome to another gadget video. Bienvenido, Christo y Salam. Welcome to the channel, y'all. Niha and hey. Today I have got this little Philips stereo cassette player EQ6492 dynamic bass boost, automatic stop, DC socket, in ear stereo headphones. So this appears to be kind of a more basic cheap kind of little cassette player uh let me see if i can find out some details of when it could have been made possibly hang on so what i can find online is the details that it was in 1999 that this was made let's make things better by phillips so we're talking about 99 ish it is in excellent condition the box is immaculate as if you just bought it so if i open it up we will see the stereo manual guarantee the headphones Once a month, use a cotton bud moistened in alcohol to clean the parts indicated, A and B, which are the uh, heads and pinch rollers are on it. This is the guarantee leaflet. This is the user manual. All as if it's just, just never been used. Let's have a look at the condition of it. This is the first time I'm opening this. So we have the original headphones. Again, they are in immaculate condition. Immaculate. Let's have a look at the stereo itself. Again, not a scratch on it. It's extremely light. This is the model AQ6492, uh, DC battery, or you can connect it up, made in China. Continuous use at full output might damage the ears. On one side here, we've got the DC in, volume, and the headphone jack. Nothing else. On the top, we've got the DBB, Dynamic Bass Boost, off or on. On the front, we have the very simple controls of stop, fast forward, and play. If we open it up, can't really see much. Well, I can see the, the cassette uh, heads there. If I press the play, you might be able to get there the details of the head and the pinch roller. It is immaculate. Wow. Lift and unlock to take off the belt clip. These are not on many of them. There we have the battery compartment where you take two AA batteries. Let's pop them in. Excellent. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a wipe over just to get rid of any more. Okay, so... Let's have a look if I press play. Yeah, there seems to be plenty grip. On the belt. Let's pop in a cassette. I need to rewind it. So if I put it inside two and press fast forward, you can't actually 
see, but it is, it is rewinding. I can hear it winding. Let's pop in the headphone jack. Turn on the speaker. It looks like, well, I think it is. I don't know if it has been used because it is in such good condition. Probably used maybe once, twice, but there's not a mark on it. Let's wait for this to rewind. Okay, let's pop out the cassette. I just realized you can very faintly see the tape. I don't know if you, yeah, you can make it out there on the inside so you can see it, but it's not very clear at all. And if you turn that, the DBB off, you can't even see the cassette. So what I'm gonna do is just like what the instructions say, I am just going to give the heads a little clean. So I got some isopropyl alcohol. And a bud. And I'm gonna press play. And I'm gonna clean the pinch rollers. Clean the head. Pop in the cassette. Hopefully now we will get some sound. Let's press play. Oh no, it's not turning. It's fast forwarding a bit slow. But it's not playing. Even though this is turning around inside and quite strong, the pinch roller isn't. Oh, see, it just, it almost played a bit. Hmm, it seems to be slipping on the pinch roller part. Look up. So my assumption is that one of the belts is loose about this hoose. There's three screws there, so let me get my little kit. Okay, let's take these three screws out. My little spudging kit I got given to me. Hey. Okay, so that came off pretty easy. Right, there's not much on the inside. There's just one belt. 
Hmm. Let's just pop the batteries in. Oh, look, that belt is very loose, look. So even though, can you see? Oh, gosh, sorry, you couldn't see them. See how that belt is flapping around? That belt is very loose. Right, okay, let me get my, let's remove these batteries. Let's get my bag of belts. Okay, I've got multiple belts here. This one is specifically for the Sony WM-EX. And these are just generic ones. So, let's take off this belt. There. As you can see, it looks like it's got a bit of a kink in it. So, it looks like it hasn't been used or not used much. Let's have a look. Let's see what we can find. Straight out of the bat. That looks... Maybe that's a little bit loose. That's too small. Uh, this one might be, it is thin, but it might be, oh, I don't know, do you know what, that might be the one. Let's try the batteries in it, and press play. No, that might be the one, That's, that looks really good. We might have found that one straight off the bat, just before I tipped them all back into the... Clip it back in. Okay. Now let's put the batteries in. Cassette again. And fast forwarding. Oh, that pinch roller has got a nice grip on it. Let's press play. Yes, I can see. There you go, you can see the cassette moving around Ooh, we might be lucky let's press fast forward to get it back to the beginning of the cassette oh that's lovely and fast stop automatic stop it wasn't even doing the automatic stop before right let's turn on let's press play oh we have some we have something and it's turning oh yay that belt was just too loose
Now I can detect a little bit of wow and flutter. I don't know anything about wow and flutter, apart from the fact that, hmm, I could quite hear it then. Let's try a better speaker. Oop, turn you off. Let's try the bows. Turn off. Okay, let's turn this one on. We're in auxiliary. Well, that definitely sounds better. But yeah, I can definitely detect wow and flutter, but it's a new belt and I've heard so many people say that when you do put new belts on them, they do take a little bit of time to kind of, you know, stretch to the to the machine, which I can I can I can understand. Wow, that does make a difference. So it definitely makes a lot of difference using the this Bose one as my speaker. Let's try <laughs> I have a lovely pair of Sennheiser. Uh, these are Bluetooth or wired headphones. And these are really, really good headphones. So let's plug this into the headphones. Let me put these on. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to hear this. I'm going to try it. The sound on it is actually really good. There is hiss, but again, this is not a high-end model, so I can imagine you kind of would have a little bit of hiss. Let me put the original headphones on. I've given them a wipe with an alcohol wipe. So let me try them with these. Absolutely horrible. The sound is really, really tinny on them. And yeah, the sound is is a lot to be to, to left to be desired with those headphones. Let's plug my nice ones back in. Okay. Hello. Hello. So there, Hello. there we go. They sound a lot better on this than they do on any of the headphones, but you can still hear that hiss in the background. So let me get these screws put back into the little player. Let's put the clip. There we go, clips back on. So there we go, guys. That is this tiny little Philips automatic stop EQ6492 stereo cassette player in absolute mint condition. 
now with the lovely new belt on it that does make it work again so i was just very happy that it hadn't turned to goo so there we go guys thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this little video and i'll see you guys in the next episode bye